guys, Computer Craft here, and this is my review on Windows 2000. So let's boot it up. Da la la. We're starting Windows now. It is actually, I think, it's very advanced for his like time. Like it's 1985 to 1999. It's very advanced, and it's built on NT technology. So the from the very beginning of the boot up, it's trying to show off that it's epic. So let's see if it really is epic by putting it to its faces. Our first section would be usability. Is it easy to use? Oh, there we go, the classic Windows music. As you can see, I've already messed around a little bit with the operating system because I've customized it a little bit and stuff. And it looks really nice, I think. Um, yeah, it just looks pretty nice. Uh, so, these are going to be our tasks. Number one is the time. Number two is writing a talk text document and finding it later. Number three is seeing some, um, is customizing the operating system in any way. And number four is just general usability. So, let's start. So, number one, what time it is. Well, as you can see clearly down here, it is 9.23. Now, one thing I straight away know, which I want to point out, is it doesn't tell you whether it's a.m. or p.m. Well, I guess it would sort of tell you because it goes 0 and 9, but I think so. Even though it's a virtual PC, it runs on exactly the same time, which is a real time. I don't know what's wrong with it, but that was pretty simple. Our second task is writing and opening a text document. So, let's start. Programs, accessories, WordPad or Notepad. Very simple. I'm going to choose Notepad. That was very simple. Let's save it. And we're going to name it Titled. Now let's try to remember where we save it. A, a, an easy place to save it would be desktop. I really like the way the save dialog is made. That was very simple. Now let's open it. There we go. Very simple and easy to use. I really like the animation which um included in this but never made the way fully to XP, such as this. The fact that the menus pop out. It really appeals to the user. However, our second task is much more important. Customize the user interface in any way possible. So let's start. Properties. Screens over appearance. As any other windows, it is very easy to customize. And it, is, it follows the basic methods we used in the early windows. I like this wallpaper. Let's change it. I think this sort of lags behind in technology, sort of, too. The pictures that which have been given look very pixelated. Now, our fourth task. Is it really nice to use? Well, according to my personal opinion, I've seen many crashes due to the active wallpaper desktop background. As we all know, this feature was removed in Windows XP, so we don't really have to worry about it too much. I've been using this for a while now, and it seems very easy to use, just like any other Windows. So, in the end, I would give this a very high rating. The tasks were fairly easy to complete, and didn't take much time, so let's try to explore the system ourselves. Internet Explorer is very advanced according to that time. I'm really sorry I cannot connect to the internet because it didn't have capabilities for Wi-Fi. I'll be making another video of how to install this later. Control panel. This would be interesting to see how it has modernized. So as you see the control panel in Windows 2000 did look very boring. So let's compare that to Windows 8.1s.
We can see a huge change between the two operating systems. However, there is a 14 year difference between them which we have to consider. We can really see the involvement of Windows throughout this time. However, Windows 2000 also has a few positive sides to the control panel. For example, there are file, edit, view, favorites, tools and help options at the top. There are also a few more options that we can see below. However, in the new control panel home, we don't see much of that over here. We also see this sort of new, um, new file thing, technique thing. I don't exactly know how to say it, but this text-based one isn't really epic to the user or appealing to it. However, this at the time, of course, was epic. Well, considered epic. So all in all, I think this is an epic, I don't know why I'm saying epic so much, but I think Windows 2000 is really good. Let's try to take this document out of the recycling bin without using this button. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, they have sort of made it more difficult by not allowing you to click over here. Sorry for my cough. It's because I have a cold. Is this a bug? I thought I just already deleted it. Well, it's still in the start menu, so it isn't completely deleted. That is very weird. Well, as you can see, it's a proven fact now that Windows 2000 was a quite a bit of buggy mess. Let's also try the calculator. 6 times 4 is 24 as we know, but will it get the answer? Yes, it did. Settings, control panel. As you can see, compared to the start screen of Windows 8, there are quite a few differences. But if you look at Windows 7, for example, the start menu has really evolved. The start menu in Windows 2000 looks a little bit older and not so much evolved. However, it still does the job that it has to. In XP, we didn't really see many changes to it. However, it was a major improvement which was needed by adding the second column on the right hand side of the main start menu. All in all, I really like the look of Windows 2000 Professional. One thing which I really think is so odd about it is the fact that Many of the things in Windows 2000 are, have not been really carried out to the next operating system, even though they were brilliant. Um, I, I really don't know why they did that, but still. Windows Explorer has also taken a lot of change. For example, if you open Windows Explorer in Windows 8, there is a huge difference. We see much, a, a much more of a simpler interface in Windows 8.1. However, we see a complex, jagged sort of interface in Windows 2000. This makes it very complicated to use. I really, again, as I said earlier, I really like the animation and I really wish they were carried along to read the rest of the windows. So let's see if there's any more cool stuff which didn't really come with the other windows. Oh, what's this help? I, I, I saw it but I really didn't see it. Ooh. Now this looks like a cluttered up help. It sort of needs help of how to use help I guess. Help. But anyway, let's just see. I don't really think they even need this because Windows 2000 Professional was a very simple operating system. Let's see if we can find something else. Oh, search for people on the internet for files and folders. That's a very clever option they've given us. Of course, in Windows 7 and Windows 8, where there's the unified search, this idea may have come from originally from the Windows 2000 Professional. However, very sadly, I think it was removed in XP. Let's 
This one to make this top ball bigger. Oh, that's something unusual. I thought that the date and time would be made bigger. Oh well, with the date would come underneath it. But it didn't. That's very odd. Of course, in the new Windows, for example, Windows 8.1, it is impossible to make the star bar bigger or smaller. Hmm. Let's change the desktop back again. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh my god, it is a rubbish. It's very pixelated. Let's change it back to the golden petals. Another thing which I loved about it was the fact that personalizing was taken to the furthest extent. Not only you could change the desktop background, you can change every single detail by changing specifically where which font or which color would this headings be or how would the uh, tabs be laid out. I really wish this customizing options were taken uh, taken to the further windows but they weren't. I think so this is the end of the review of Windows 2000. Like every single operating system which I will be reviewing, I would give a score out of 10. I would give Windows 2000 Professional a score of 5 out of 10. The reason why are, first of all, it is very buggy on the negative side. And it looks very pixelated even though for its time. On the positive side, it was also very advanced, and the deep customizing is very good. Also, it comes with a, with a lot of pre-installed software, which is very handy. Thank you for watching, and this was my review of Windows 2000 Professional. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to miss my installation process of Windows 2000, so you can do this at home. Bye.